my niece went to the Hunter School, and my sister, her mother, would constantly tell me about this little boy named Lynn Manuel Miranda, who was obsessed with the Little Mermaid and all things Disney and all things, you know, filmic and musical. He was just obsessed with all of that. And I'd never met him. And then one day, years later, there was a musical coming in called uh, In the Heights, written by a Lynn Manuel Miranda. And I said, could this be the same little boy? And it was Lynn, grown up. And um, that was it's amazing. And so, it, and it's kind of serendipity that all these years later, we collaborated on these new songs for The Little Mermaid. We come from different stylistic um, places to a degree, or certainly d different disciplines, um, but there's definitely a huge meeting ground where these two you know, uh, styles meet. Um, and each of the songs we wrote together are sort of a different, a different combination of our styles. Uh, and I think it turned out wonderfully. And, it was uh, it was a joy. It was just great. Much of the emotion in it is a father daughter story, a father trying to protect his daughter from things that could endanger her and take it, her away from him, and in the end, he facilitates that because he knows it's what her heart wants, um, and that's very emotional. And um, I, you know, I certainly use my daughters as a big uh, inspiration for the emotion that I put into The Little Mermaid. The, the way the songs come about, of course, is we sit down with the script, and the script has songs already that we, that from the original movie that were going to be used in it. And then we look at the dramatic flow and decide what spots are promising for new songs, what will... Um, uh, be a jump-off point for something that we haven't heard before, or an emotion we haven't ex experienced, you know, quite before. And so we found those moments. And, of course, that all came in a room together with John and, and Rob and, and, and Lynn and me and David, all together pitching ideas. Rob is the ideal director for almost anything to begin with. Um, Rob understands musicals totally he understands it uh, from a stage point of view which is where he began his career and which where I began my career and from a filmic um, perspective um, he's just uh, the best at what he does and um, it's a dream come true to work with him love it